Hello everybody, Shanette here. I'm on the my home server of Mad Duel of EverQuest 2. I am getting ready to tour the home that Jerry Bomb uh, designed for me. I have just zoned in and I have not turned around and I am very excited. I am trying to actually contain my excitement because I don't want to be overly giddy, but that may happen anyway. It is not published yet. I'm going to publish it after the video and I will update the video information with the uh, location and name and whatnot. But as you can see, it is my alt pajamas Ethernear Enclave, <clears throat> which can be found in South Kinos. And I'm almost certain once it's published, it will be in Massive Homes. So I'm ready to turn around and see what we got going on here. When I should preface this one, Cherry Bomb told me that she wanted to do a home just for me. I was very excited because Cherry Bomb is one of my absolute favorite decorators. I absolutely love her work. I've been a huge admirer of her work for years. So let's do this. <laughs> and I suppose I should give you a little bit of storyline. Um, I do know that the house is 12 Oaks, which is not the, the main plantation from Gone with the Wind, but the, the neighboring one. And the reason that she did this is because I told her a little story about uh, Gone with the Wind is my sister's favorite movie and we used to get together to watch it um, usually around her birthday but we can't anymore because we live on opposite sides of the country so you know that movie holds a special place in my heart because it's my sister's favorite movie and I can't spend a lot of time with her anymore and I'm I feel like I'm gonna cry now just talking about it but okay <laughs> Oh, I love the shrubs. Oh my god. Oh my god. <gasps> love this arch. Look at that. Oh my god, I can't wait to see it. Oh, I get so excited. 12 Oak Plantation. I don't know if there are any actors, so I don't know if I should leave my UI up, but oh my god. This may be a very long video of just me <laughs> standing here slack jawed, staring, because look how beautiful that is. Get the full front view here. Oh my god, look at this architecture. That is. That is so beautiful, and this kind of reminds me the way she's pulled it up her one of her homes that I absolutely love, the Winter Haven Colonial Manor, which is one of my favorites of hers. Oh god, I can't wait to go in there and see it. Okay, she said I would need to bring a horse to put down, <clears throat> and she said I would know where it was supposed to go. So I'm guessing this is this is it here. Look at this adorable carriage. Oh, I should have got a black horse. That's okay. <laughs> oh my god. And I, she asked if there was anything that she's done that I would like to be included in the home. And I told her that I absolutely love her carriage museum. I think it's probably one of my favorite houses of hers. And oh my god, she made me my very own carriage. That is gorgeous. I don't even know what those wheels are. What are they? Are they rhodium? Oh, I didn't know they were black. I guess they're gray. <laughs> I thought they were kind of orangey. Okay, we won't go in the house just yet. I want to check out the outside first. Oh, this is so pretty. And I love this uh, sort of walkway. And it's got the 12 oaks. <laughs> oh my god, that is so cute. Oh, okay, let's check out that roof. Oh, it's a gorgeous job on that. Oh my god, I'm just gonna check out the outside first. I just wanna see everything because this is amazing. Look at this. Oh, man. I'm 
may cry. Just, <laughs> just to let you know. Okay, let's check out the inside. I love the shutters. I love the, I love the windows. Period. They're beautiful. Rocking chairs on the porch. I love it. I love this front door. I love how that's been made out of the panes and the arch. Here we go. Oh my god. Look at this. She made. Oh, look, it's that Southern Bill. Oh, there are house actors. Okay. Cherry Bomb. Oh, this is Cherry Bomb. Look at her skirt. I love that. Cherry Bomb says, Welcome y'all to the Toll Folks Plantation. Well, I declare that I just finished designing this home for Shanette O'Hara. <laughs> She's around here somewhere. Why don't you be a darling and go say hello? Oh my god, look at the stairs. <gasps> I don't think I have closed my mouth since I entered the house. <laughs> oh. oh, here's Scarlet. Scarlet O'Hara says, Great balls of fire. That's Rep Butler. He's from Charleston. He has the most terrible reputation. I do apologize for my southern accent. It's not that great. And Brett Butler says, Frankly, my dear, I don't give a damn. Oh my god. I love this staircase. I love it. It's gorgeous. Oh, there's me. <laughs> Oh, and with them. Oh my god, I love it. Wisdom says, Shanette, did you ever think of marrying just for fun? Oh my god, she's supposed to be Melanie. And Shanette says, marriage, fun, fiddle dee dee. Fun for men, you mean. <laughs> oh my god, look at my bonnet. Look at my hat. Oh my god, I'm gonna cry. I love the dresses. They are so cute. Oh, this is, this is amazing. I love her dress and my dress and that dress. Oh, that is so cool. Okay, we won't go upstairs yet. <laughs> Look at this floor too. I forgot to say that's beautiful. And these uh, balances, I think they're called. That is cute. It really does look like the inside of a plantation. I apologize if I don't talk, then I'm speechless just taking everything in. This is absolutely gorgeous. Oh, there's a book. <clears throat> the History of Antebellum Architecture by Cherry Bomb. I love Antebellum Architecture. I love big old plantation houses. They are my second favorite behind Victorian houses. I'll let you pause this and read this. I think I read this in one of her other homes. She's got books about architecture. Common features included enormous foyers, sweeping open stairways, ballrooms, grand dining rooms, and intricate design work. The design work included intricate shapes and patterns made from plaster used to adorn walls and furniture. It was also used to create wood and floor designs. <clears throat> I love this upright desk. The colors in here are just totally me. I love all the shades of blue. Look at that fireplace. Oh, that is gorgeous. I've probably said that. <clears throat> about 30 times already. 
But I'm so excited, it's hard for me to think of other adjectives. Ooh, that's pretty. I just love the way this has all been built. It's so grand, as a plantation should be, but... Oh my god, look at that ceiling! Oh, I forgot to look up in the other room. She said don't forget to look up, and I did. <laughs> oh my god, that is beautiful. Love this grand table. Oh, and look at that fireplace. That is very southern. That is just the quintessential fireplace right there. Love these windows. I've not seen a single thing I don't love yet. chandelier. Mm, is that another book? It's not a readable one. Okay. Let's check out the other side. Oh, it's a library. I kind of wonder if she watched the movie to get an idea of how it's supposed to look because this really does look like the the Wilkes library or if she just googled pictures because <laughs> she told me she I, didn't, I think she said she hadn't seen Gone with the Wind yet which makes this all the more amazing because this really does look like the inside of Twelve Oaks. Oh I love that fireplace too. Oh, look how the red, the stained glass looks like red brick a little bit from the distance. That's the window seats. Oh my god, this is gorgeous. Oh, look at that. Oh, I love it. I can't say it enough. I just, I love it. I love how the library has two, two doors. It's like a little breakfast nook. It's very lovely. Now I'm paranoid about looking up. Uh -huh. That is an adorable little fireplace. Looks like a little wine cellar, wine closet. Oh, that is cute. I love the little dish, uh, I want to sort of say dish dresser, dish cabinet. Oh, pretty. And the kitchen. Ooh. Two double refrigerators, it might be freezer. Love this kitchen. It's a cute little stove. And cute sink too. I don't know what my favorite part is yet, but this room, I think, is probably it. <laughs> the dresses and the staircase, I just... Oh, look at that view. Oh my god. I'm actually genuinely surprised I've not burst into tears yet because this is just amazing. Oh my god, I did not even see that. Look at that. Oh, how epic.
epic is that? That is gorgeous. That is spectacular. That's what that is. Look at the, I love the middle part, how it... Oh my god. It's stuff like this that makes me want <laughs> to learn the layout editor, layout editor again. That is beautiful. Wow. Well, that's gonna be tough to beat. <laughs> okay, looks like we discovered bedrooms, maybe. Oh, this one is fantastic. Ooh, I like the custom canopy bed there. Looks like we got a book. Oh. <laughs> it's the book I wrote her. But you're more than welcome to come in and read. But I want to get back to looking around. This is exquisite. I love all the colors in each room too. I don't know if I already said that. Oh wow, look at this one. Oh, this one is very elegant, looks almost almost French. It's very sophisticated. Love the dresser. Oh, love the fireplace. Oh my god, in that bed. Ooh. That is beautiful. I think this might be my favorite bedroom. We'll see if there's a all blue one. <laughs> and then we got, oh, a bathroom. Very cute little bathroom. Love this uh, curtain. A cute little toilet. Oh my god, I can't get over that. <laughs> that was beautiful. bedroom. Look at that fireplace. That is really neat. Wish you really went all out for the antebellum architecture in here. Right down to the fireplaces. It's amazing. <clears throat> Ooh, look at that, that's pretty. Oh, this one is gorgeous too. I think this one is my room. <laughs> oh, look at that fireplace. Oh, it's got a private bathroom. I assume that's a bathroom. Love that fireplace. Look at this. Gorgeous. Oh, I love this bed. <clears throat> Decorating secrets nobody ever tells you by Cherry Bomb. The first rule about decorating is that you can break almost all the other rules. Never push furniture up against the walls, but pulling your seating arrangement in, even just a few in inches, you instantly warm up a space and create flow. Ceilings must always be considered. They are the most neglected space in a room. Pinches of color keep a room feeling youthful and engaging. Use wallpaper in unexpected places, on the ceiling, in a panel room, in closets, hallways, and small foyers. A great pattern or texture in small spaces can be a prodigious twist. 
I appreciate history, but you have to bring your own experience into your rooms. I don't think people have enough fun with decorating. It doesn't always have to be so serious. Design isn't like marriage. You don't have to commit for life. That one's a good one. Real comfort, visual and physical. Oh, real comfort, visual, visual and physical is vital in every room. The most important thing, perfect, perfect lighting at all times. Accessories are where I like to make a statement through the soul of the room. Well, that's a handy little book and I love this bed. Wow, I just, I'm absolutely blown away by how much she was able to accomplish in here. I just, and she, she took what I said and just, oh, she fulfilled my dreams. <laughs> I'm not gonna cry. That is gorgeous. I love the private bath. all of the inside of the house. <laughs> I know it's probably been like an hour, but I feel like I've only been in here five minutes. I'm just gonna run outside quick and make sure there's nothing. Make sure she didn't put anything over here, just to be sure. Yeah, okay. I just want to be sure. And there was no portal path, so I'm pretty sure she didn't do anything at the smaller island, which <laughs> I don't know how she could have. She did so much here. I don't even know. The outside, first of all, is I love it, is one of my favorite things. And also that ceiling. I love that. I love all of it. But I think. I'm going to stick with my original favorite thing to leave you with, which is the awesome dresses and this beautiful staircase. Because I'm sure this was really a pain to do and it looks absolutely stunning and I love it. And I'm going to end the video before I burst into tears because this has just touched me and I'm so incredibly happy and lucky to have received this from Cherry Bomb. And I would like to extend a big thank you to her for doing this for me because I cannot even say how much I love it. I just, I'm blown away. Thank you, Cherry Bomb. So, uh, if you guys would like to come and visit it for yourself, you can find it on the Magdal server. It will be published in Massive Homes shortly, and it will be called uh, 12 Oaks by Cherry Bomb. See you guys in the next one.